up in Barcroft. Nah, not tonight, mate. Oh, come on. We'll be in a big later. All right, I might come down for one, but not until much later, because I've got something to take care of. Yeah, all right, listen, I'll see you later. All right, bye-bye. All right, there you go, there's yours. What'd you say? Thank you. That's better. Don't you mum me. Come on, get to school now. Come on, and you. Oh, Lily. And you know what? Because no. you can't be trusted what? to get there on your own. I'm taking you myself. Yeah. Now, get out. Well, you go, Pinky. Yeah. There you go. Right, I'll see you later, you two. Oh, my kids. Ah. Morning. Morning. All right, Dot. OK, dear. Right, well, you take care. Yeah. Bye. So, mm? what's she doing? Oh, they, they said they'd let her out next week. Oh, that's fantastic. Yes, except, of course, oh, she's climbing the walls. Says the place is full of hypochondriacs. <laughs> anyway, she can't wait to get back because she's missing her home-cooked food. Well, before then, maybe we could cheer her up. How do you mean? Lionel's more used to the family business than you are. Yeah, maybe we should put you in the tank instead of him, eh? Will you stop mentioning that snake, please? What's going on? Oh, nothing. Just your brother getting done for drink driving. You're joking. You're going to lose your license. I don't know yet. He's got to go and see the magistrate next week. Hey, Ron. Why don't you give him a business card while you're there, eh? Seeing as you're doing such a great job PR in our company. <laughs> oh, you think that's funny, dude? You fancy waking up next to Lionel? Yeah, you wouldn't dare. I'll try me, bro. Oh, leave try it me. out, will ya? Yeah, come on, Tarek. Let's go find another driver while we've still got a business. Look, I'm sorry, all right? What? Oh. Morning, Alfie. You all right, Nan? You want some breakfast, darling? Oh, yes, that would be lovely. All right. Oh, has Kat gone out? Uh, no, no, she's, she's gone away, actually. Oh. Is everything all right, darling? Yeah, everything's fine, Nan. She's just going to spend a bit of time with family, that's all. Oh, I see. Hmm. Only, I didn't like the look of the tea leaves this morning, darling. Oh, <laughs> well, you like how you and your flaming tea leaves come here. Yes, yeah, all right, it's all right. Let her on first, stupid. Now you get on there. Mum, you don't have to. I'll be coming every morning. You keep on. Now get on the bus. All right, love. Tonight. Yeah. I thought we could take a picnic down there. Visiting finishes about eight, so I forgot about six. Uh, I don't know, son. Well, why not? I just haven't been feeling very well. I've got this headache and I think it's just a bug, but... It's... I knew there was something wrong. What do you mean? Well, no. Nothing bad. I, I, I just don't think you've been yourself. You should have said. Maybe I could get someone to cover for you. No, I don't do that, son. Yeah, but maybe if you take it easy today, then you'll be able to come tonight. Yeah? That's some way. What's happened? Oh, I was man for club, man. I missed a night bus, woke up in Peckham, man, on the bench to some stinky, inky bin. Me? Can you believe it? Mm, yeah, I can believe that. So, wait, uh, they pull the girls. Hey, listen, Augustus, it's not funny, all right? I'm gagging, bro. It's been over a week now. We should go for a jig later. Hey, bro, you know, so you missed a bit right here, you know? Dangerous, man. You got to put up all this kind of slippery stuff, yeah? Where? Do you want to see that? <laughs> no, I'm just saying that I'm going to give men a bit of a rest, that's it. After all that stuff with Mickey. Hey, if you ask me, you're doing the right thing. I mean, why rush into anything, eh? Exactly. I am saving myself till my Prince Charming rocks up. Mm, talking of which, I'm going to see if I've got anything for Addy. I'm just going to be over there. All right, babe. Have you got anything for stressed out cab drivers, mate? Yeah, Karina. If you'll allow me to say, babe, you are looking physically tremendous, you know. Thanks. I was actually thinking as well that maybe me and you should start actually coming. What is that smell? Yeah, you're right. It's I'm funny, isn't it? Um, look, Karina, I actually forgot to feed well out this jerk chicken, but you know what? I will be right. I'll come and catch you in a minute, yeah? No, seriously, Mickey, I'm fine, mate. Yeah, I know, but I owe you one, don't I? Especially after what happened to your dad's bench. Yeah, but you put it right, didn't you? Yeah, I know, and it does look brand new, but I still feel guilty, so. Hand over, I promise on you. Good man. Yeah, good luck, man. Yeah, see you later. Oh, but... Boy, Skyver. Thought you were meant to be at college. Yes, I was. I was meant to meet Tommy, but he didn't show up. Maybe he got his times mixed up. No, he's not really heard my calls, Chrissy. I've been phoning him since yesterday. Right, he should probably just leave it now. Are you serious? He's dumped me without any explanation. I'm just meant to let him get away with it, am I? Yeah, it just goes to prove he's too spineless to say it to your face. Yeah, we'll see about that, won't we? Why, what are you doing? I'm going round to his flat. No, Vicky. I'm not going to let him make a fool out of me. Vicky! 
Vicky, wait! What was all that about? Tommy's been avoiding Vicky. What, has he dumped her? Well, looks like it. Right, if I have a mind to go around and sort him out. No, Dennis, don't. Just, just leave here. Yeah, but he needs to be told. He already has been. What? I warned him off. <laughs> oh, you are going to be in big trouble when she finds out. Well, hopefully she won't. Oh, she will. And when she does, I won't want to be in your shoes. Oh, you ain't off got a knot here, babe. You're like a plank of wood. What do you expect? I've been hunched over that desk all night. No thanks to my gormless brother. Oi, squeeze your balls. Oh, yes, miss. Right, those are to be kept on your person at all times. I don't want you turning into one of them stressed out businessmen. <laughs> so, how things been here then? Oh, don't ask. Tarek's out there acting like Smokey and a bandit. <laughs> Ash is lecturing without any sleep and forget squeezing knees, I should be wringing Ronnie's neck. Wait, just stop giving him such a hard time. Now, I know he's acting like a complete prat, but he's still your brother and you need him. And that's why you're going to talk to him and make it up. Oh, yeah? Who says? Ow! Oh! oh. Tell you what, next time I see them bull kids, I'm going to wipe smile off their faces. No, no, smash that loose she's the right little minger. What are you doing? It's Mum! Look, we better make ourselves scarce. So, what were the scores in the doors for yesterday, then? 50% up. Thanks to me. Well, it would have been up to you, but a sharp shot, wouldn't we? So, whose bright idea was it to have the barbie? Yes, I know. You were right, <laughs> and yes, you were brilliant. <laughs> it were a laugh, weren't it? I tell you what, I was knackered when I got home, though. Yeah, look, I do appreciate all your hard work. Well, offer me a pay rise. Jane. Yeah? What? I'd better get down the bank, hadn't I? Well, unless you're planning on stashing the takers under your mattress, then, yeah. So who's she then? Oh, no, nah, you wouldn't know her. Normally we'd be going mad over me, Martin, man. I'm the jewels. You see my smile. This one's gonna be a proper drama. Yeah, I suppose it depends on what she's looking for, innit? What do you mean? Well, she's the type of girl wants a relationship, a one-night stand or what? Relationship? No, forget that. I'm not getting tired out of no one. Yeah, well, well, she'll see it that way. You know, it might not mean nothing to you, but what if she doesn't see it that way? What if she wants a piece of it? Nah, that wouldn't happen. How come? Because I'll make sure I'm straight with her. And what would you do if it did happen? Well, I'd make sure she'd get the message. It's not always pay to be polite to people, you know, Martin, bruv. Sometimes they spell things out. Yeah. What? Yeah. Oh, yeah, still look a bit peaky. Yeah, I've got some paracetamol in here. A couple of them, so you right out. Mm. You eat them, Stag? No. No? Well, that explains why you feel so rotten then, working all down an empty stomach. I'll get you a bit of toast now. No, I'm not hungry, son, seriously. Well, I've got some bits to put in the sandwiches for the picnic at the hospital tonight. I'm going to buy dots and flowers no, on the way. I've told you I'm not going to be able to come, though. No, you said that we'll see how you feel later on. What part of no? Don't you understand? Oh, I'm sorry, I... No, I'm sorry. Look, I, I shouldn't have said that. Um, have I done something wrong? No, yeah, it's me. I'm just tired. You know, and if I am coming down with something, I'm the last person Dot should be hanging about with. She don't want my germs, does she? No, um, I'll go home and have a lie down. and I promise everything will be fine tomorrow. OK. Well, I'll uh, get to work. Mina, uh, let me get these, baby. Let me get these. Uh, thanks, but just paid. Oh, uh, all right then. Um, um, look, why don't we do that adult stuff and we take you out somewhere? Get away from that. Table for you. Oh, cheers. Oh, sorry, Jules. What were you saying? Uh, are you working tonight? Yeah. Okay, then. I'll see ya. Okay. Hey, yeah, Alfie, uh, you've no idea when Sam's due back, have you? No, nah, sorry, mate. Oh, no. I'll ask uh, Cash, she might not Oh, uh, no, 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 she's not in, because she, well, she's got to stay with some mates of hers. All oh, right. Well, not a year married, she's done a run already, eh? Oh, very funny, <laughs> Minnie. Well, the truth is, mate, she got sick of my snoring and left me. <laughs> Right. 
Alfie. You know what? I just don't know how you do it, bless it. Do what? What, you telling me you haven't noticed? Pretty blonde over there keeps looking over at you. Does she? Yeah. Look, she's not gonna look now, is she? She knows we're looking. All oh, right. Well, I mean, I just don't get it, bro. I mean, those road sweeping garments are hardly Versace, are they? And you sure don't walk around with a big bag of money like I do. You sure she's looking? Yeah, of course she is. You wanna go over there? What, now? No, tomorrow half past two. Of course now. I don't know. All right, then, well, what's your technique then? How would you pull her if you went over there? Well, I wouldn't, huh? Well, at least I wouldn't think of it like that. I'd probably try and find if we've got something in common, innit? Mm, like what? Like, see that book she's reading, yeah? yeah I yeah. could walk over to her and talk to her about that, innit? Why? Because I like books as well, you idiot. Oh, I see. Hey, whoa, whoa, you going over there? No, man. Go for a week. Dolina. So we're about to meet her then. I met her at my pretend stag do at Angie's den. I think she got in her head that I fancied her. Well, as long as she keeps buying fruit and veg, you've got nothing to worry about, eh? <laughs> well, it's not funny, eh? Yeah. She didn't stop hanging about my stall and uh, she didn't stop texting me and I had to get rid of my phone. Oh, she's really gotten under your skin, ain't she? Well, I've got you old. Know, don't give her any encouragement. I'll keep your distance. Well, I've agreed to meet her now. Oh, and you plan? What you going to do that for? Oh, I had no choice, did I? Oh, what am I going to do? Wait, wait, wait. Calm down, calm down. Now, if I were you, I'd, I'd play it nice and smooth. You know, go and meet her and I'll sort of let her down gently. Just give her, you know, just give her some old flannel that you understand and, you know, just, you know, let her down gently and tell her this ain't going anywhere. Capiche? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I mean, Sonia don't know about it, does she? No, no, I don't want to get in the wrong idea. Yeah, about what? Are you having some affair with some drippy bird trying to chat you up? It's not like having an affair or something, is it? Uh, is it? Nothing to worry about. Yeah. Right, you going to order anything? I mean, this is a cafe, not your front room. Yeah, we know. And we're still deciding. Hmm? It's not busy or anything, is it? Oh, yeah. How much we got? <sighs> What can I get you? I'll have a cup of tea take away, please. Yeah, sure. Jane, is that, has Vicky been in today? No, I don't think so. Um, if she comes in, do you want me to tell you you're looking for her? No, no need. I've got a feeling she'll find me first. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's from Sam. Yeah. She says Andy's spoiling her rotten. And she'll be back tomorrow, oh. so I'll get all the gossip. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. Well, don't plan anything for tomorrow, will you? We'll be fishing me out of canal. Hey, can I have a pocket money? Oh. What do you want it for? There's a store over the road that sells my black phone covers. Oh, all right. There you go, there's a fiver. Make sure he's not a rip-off. Thanks, Dad. All right. Leave this to me. Now, my love, listen. It's a particular book I need, yeah? Here. Get yeah, some Westlife guns. Oh, please? Wait, what are you doing? Andy, over. What? The money, now. There you go. Do you have a sleep, eh? Right, Jim's organising it. He's having a sleep. Is he not feeling any better? <sighs> He's been sick now. Well, you better stay here and look after him, then. I'll go and see Dot on my own. Yeah. Uh, Son, Sonia. Look, you don't have to do that, you know. I don't want you letting Dot down. Oh, no, but I'm worried about you now. No, look, I'm fine, honest. You go. Only if you're sure. Yeah? Right, I'll get sandwiches. Here, yeah, got a surprise for you. How do you feel about a weekend break? Like, getting out of Warford? Yeah, I'd like that. Would you? Well, why don't you have a flick through these and see if there's anything you fancy in them? Take it easy, okay. yeah? I will. Sonia, that'll be the taxi. Yeah. Now, remember, if she gets to be a pain, just put her in my room and I'll see you later. All right, Hello. Martin? Uh, send my love to Doc, ma'am. Yeah, OK. Sonia, um, what's it there? I just want to say that I'm um, sorry for snapping at you earlier. Oh, that's all right. I'll see you later, yeah? Love you. 
Lovely too. Right, well, Marie should be here any minute. I mean, you can get yourself off. All right, okay. There you go. Yeah, four donuts. Oh, listen, you two, I'm doing your tea. So get yourselves hanging in a minute. All right. See you later. Okay. Yeah, take care. Bye. <laughs> Come on down. Bye, Peter. Bye, Lucy. Yeah. <laughs> We've got to tell Dad. What? I'll get a head kicked in on the way to school tomorrow for grassing them up. What? Just let him get away with it. Get away with what? Nothing. So, uh, what did you buy, darling? She didn't buy nothing. The store was closed. I was talking to Lucy. So. Someone going to tell me what's going on? What? Have one if you like. Sure it's safe. What? Giving me a beer. You know, I might get blasted, take a cab out, get nicked by the police. Why would you do that? Because that's what I do, isn't it, Ads? I screw things up. Once you made a mistake, that's all. Yeah, too right. You know, I shouldn't have been in that cab in the first place, but I only went in it because Sasha asked me to. Look. We're all run off our feet, right? We haven't had any luck finding a new driver. Everyone is frazzled. I was just wondering if you cover the officer. So that's what this is about. You've come in here to soften me up. No. Sasha sent you, did she? To be honest, Dads, I don't give a stuff about this business. You know, in fact, I'm sick of hearing about it. But thanks for the beers, mate. Cheers, mate. Thanks. Hi, Martin. All right. All right. Hiya. Hang on a minute, let me get this straight. They nick my kids' pocket money, then come into my cafe and spend it? Apparently. Oh, I'm going round the Millers. I'm going to sort this out once and for all. This is no, ridiculous. Yeah, Shouting the odds isn't going to solve anything. No? Make me feel a whole lot better. Yeah, and it just might make things a hell of a lot worse for Peter and Lucy. Now what? I reckon we should go around there and appeal to their better nature, but, you know, offer an olive branch. In my book, there is no substitute for a bit of tact and diplomacy. Well? You said you were working here tonight, otherwise I want to come. Oh, thanks. I managed to get a night off. I thought you'd be pleased. It means we can spend more time together, doesn't it? Karina, the, uh, the new DJ will be here in a bit and I want you to give him a hand, make sure he's got everything he needs, all right? You know what, I can do that. Uh, no, Julie, you're going to be at the door. Yeah, but I can give him a hand while I'm just quiet up here, can't I? Oh, all right, good idea. So, Karina, you help Vince tidy behind the bar. Okay. Steve, great. You're early. <laughs> Evening. I do one. Uh, we need to have a little chat about your youngest two. Is now a good time? <laughs> Look, the thing is, right, I do think you're a really nice person and everything. It's just like I can't be who you want me to be. We both know that. Martin, I don't expect you to be anyone but yourself. You hardly know me. Well, I'd like to get to know you a bit better. There are lots of blokes out there that are going to be so much better for you than me. Really? Where are they all hiding, then? The last thing I want to do is hurt your feelings. You see, that's why you're so different, Martin. Can I get another drink? No, look, I've got well, a... go on. My turn. All right. Who's reading this? Yeah, I am. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, wow, this is like my favourite book ever. Oh, really, Karina? Yeah, I mean, like, I only read it ten times. I never had it down as a romantic, Jules. Oh, well, you just never know. Excuse me. Sorry, I thought I had enough. Can you lend me some cash? I'll pay you back tomorrow or something. Uh, no, I'll get...
Thanks, babe. You got some front and chat turning up on my doorstep, bad mouthing my kids. We've done no such thing. It's please. defamation of character. I'm telling you, I'll have you in court. Hang on a minute. Those thugs of yours bully my kids, and you got the cheek to stand here and have a go at me. Will you get this thing off me? Oh, look at your got right behind a woman, because you ain't got the chops to come over here on your own, have you? Oh, I don't see your husband nowhere. Where's your lover? He's over the vic, lucky for you, because he'd have you as soon as look at you. Oh, really? What, are you threatening me, are you? Yeah, Anne. Mrs Miller, please, surely there's some way we can work through this without... Yeah, there is, out. love. You can swing your up, so go on, get. I beg your pardon. You had. Just you try shutting that door on me. Yeah, what, what you going to do about I'll it? I'll tell you what I'll do about it, and I'm only going to say this once. So you better pin those ears oh, and I shut will. your door once. If your kids go within one foot of Peter and Lucy again, if they so much as breathe on them, I'll have you up before the school governor. Oh, will ya? And I'll get the council to get an antisocial behaviour order. Oh, shut and up. I'm sure I'll get enough signatures from people around here that'll make you send you back from that rug you called out from. Now, did you get that? Good. Ian, we're going. Jane. Jane. You... You're fantastic. Well, it's the only language those people understand, isn't it? Yeah. Well, don't make a habit of inviting just anyone home, will you know? No, oh, no, no, I wasn't suggesting that. It just felt right with you. I suppose you can't pick or choose who you get feelings for, can you? No. I promised myself, after Tony, my, my ex, that I would never let anyone use me like that again. Why? What happened? Oh, you know. I, I come home from work one night and I find him in bed with another woman. All right. You know what? I, I, I think he absolutely planned it like that. He, he wanted me to find him like that. Well, I suppose it saved him having to make the effort to let me down gently, didn't it? Hi, Bane. Are you all right? Absolutely fantastic. So what did, um, what did Tommy say? Not a lot. I waited around forever and he never showed up. Well then, tell me all about it. So, you live local then? Yeah, Albert Square. You? I'm dossing at a mates in Chingford at the moment. But, uh, I think I'm liking the view better around here. Whatever. So, uh, how about we take off somewhere after work? Just you and me, eh? Yeah, and I'll just bring my four big brothers, shall I? <laughs> Come on. I'll look after you. I wouldn't do that if I was you. Only my knee has this terrible habit of jerking up like that. Men, you're all the same. I feel such a fool. I really thought he liked me. Babe. Come on, just forget about him. He's just not worth it. No, I'll tell you what, Biggs. Everything seems to be sorted out in here. We're going to go home, we're going to get our soppy video, a bottle of plonk, and we're going to stuff ourselves <laughs> on chocolate. How's that? <laughs> Thank you. I uh, lent my copy to Gus. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I just never imagined it would have been your style, then. I oh, know. It's amazing how wrong you can be, isn't it? I mean, I read the blurb on the book of here, and that was it. I was absolutely hooked. Hey, Vince, what was the last book you read? Uh, don't know. I think it was some SAS survival guide. Yeah? But that comes in handy in Chingford. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you saying? I just think it's best if we don't see each other anymore. Why? Because I'm in a relationship. You know, you deserve someone who can care for you. Put you first. But I can't do that, can I? Because I've got a wife. Bonnie, you never mentioned that when you came home with me, did you? When you got into my bed. So then what happened? Well, um... Well, then... Your dad just wasn't having any of it. No. He put Mrs Miller straight on a few things, I can tell you. Really put the wind up her. Did you, Dad? Yeah. Yeah, sort of, yeah. But we'll have to come after us again. Hey. They won't, I promise. The first one of any trouble, you just let us know, yeah? We'll set your dad on them. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Dad. I just always had Gus down as a bookish one out of the two. Yeah, I know, but um, in many ways, myself and Gus are very similar. So, don't mind me asking, how did you see me then? 
to know. Actually, I had you down as a bit of a rude boy. Oh. A bit flash. I'm sorry. Oh, it's all right. It's amazing what you can find out when you get to know someone better. You find out you've got a lot in common. Yeah. OK, we're off. It'll be all right. Uh, excuse me? Yeah? Aren't you supposed to be on the door? I'm going up there right now. Good. You know what, Karina? I enjoyed our lovely little chat. Yeah, me too. Yeah? Jules. Yeah? Nothing. Look, are you working tomorrow night? No. Oh, my word. Why don't you come round and give a proper talk at my place? Yeah, I'd like that. Yeah? Yeah. But you're twisting everything I say. Me? In that case, I'll tell you this, how come, if you're so happy with Sonia, you lied to her about where you are tonight? Hmm? I mean, how come you slept with me in the first place? I fancied having your cake and eating it, did you? You lose Sonia out of this, all right? She's got nothing to do with you. Oh, I don't think she'd see it that way, do you? Uh, you know what, I see it, you know, I've had enough. Oh, Martin, why can't you just face it? Because you're the one with the problem, not me. Just stay away from me, all right? It's my treat. Right. Go and watch the telly. Right. Will you just stop for a minute, please? Thank you. Look, there's, there's something I want to tell you. It's how you are with the kids and, and what you did for Peter and Lucy earlier, I mean, it makes a real difference you being here. Oh, shucks. Oh, I'm being serious. And I mean, what I did the other week, and I made a real prat of myself. But, I just want to let you know that I, I really care about you. I really care about you too. You do? Yeah. You make me laugh. You forget how important that is, don't you? Just being able to have a laugh with someone. Ian, don't. Oh, please. What's wrong? It's just too complicated. Hold on, Jane, Jane. I think I love you. Oh, no, no, Ian. No, I, I, I can't deal Jane. with that. I'm sorry. I, I, I mean, I must have... What, what no, have I done? I'm sorry. What have I done? Martin. Look, I've said all I'm going to say, all right? Hey, why can't you get the message? There's something wrong with you. Don't talk to me like that. Why not? Hey, nothing else seems to get through. Look, what happened to me and you was a mistake. You were a mistake. I was out of my skull that night. You think anything else was going to happen between us and... Well, you're not right in the head. Well, you said you cared about me. Oh, I'll leave it out, will you? Hey, I couldn't care less if I never saw you again. In fact, that sent me right down to the ground. So for the last time, will you please leave me alone? Next here on BBC One, Trisha's smitten with Carlos in Holby.